okay uh, so good morning everyone my name is roshan uh, so today we are present for the webinar for our uh, dry box uh, uh, dry box uh, okay so the in this webinar we will learn how to automate our design okay with the help of dry box there is a number of way to automate our design with the uh, with the help of equation you can automate your uh, design or with the help of even uh, design table uh, with, you can automate your design okay um, other than both these pictures you may have used uh, a number of times uh, in your design level cycle okay but there is uh, one more uh, and most powerful of them is the drive box drive box is a very powerful tool which you, we, you can automate uh, with the help of that you can automate your design okay with the help of this you can automate your uh, automate your design so uh, for to show the power and how to uh, use this drive box we have a symbol of our drive box specialist a symbol we will, uh, will help you with uh, with the drive box okay so asim over to you okay thank you roshan hi my name is asim boir and today we are going to see what drive box is what you can do with drive box how it will help you in your daily practices and how beneficial it is for a solid box user so firstly let's see what drive box is In the next tab here you can see as a drive works is a tool which you can help you automate anything that is from drawings to assemblies and a part modeling it will help you reduce your time as well as it will reduce your errors which happens in your daily work work uh, flow as we, as you we have seen in solid works that we have equations we have design table then why use drive works so in drive works you have the capability to create a form and with that form it will help you to select any type of num any type of design that you want any type of size or shape you want if you, there is a feature that you want to suppress or unsuppress you can help it you can do it in drive works but in terms of in case of design table or maybe in terms of equations doing such a task is very much a tedious task because there is a lot of numbers involved and here in drive works all you have to do is simply input first create form and then after driveworks will do its magic to help you work on your design so let's see firstly we'll see how to activate the driveworks so initially if you are a professional or premium user you will get driveworks in your solidworks express tools bar which is in evaluate to activate driveworks firstly you will have to go to driveworks wizard uh, go into evaluate tab which is on the solid works here you can see drive works express wizard then you will have to uh, click on that and go to my solid slash express wherein you will get a code express code for drive works then after here you can see you will log in if you don't have an account we can obviously help you create an account, 3d experience account when you can create SOLIDWORKS account. Then after once you have entered your credentials and password, it will follow. It will take you to the DriveWorks Express Wizard code, wherein you all you have to do is copy the code and paste it on your DriveWorks Express toolbar. Once done with this, you DriveWorks is activated. Here you can see the DriveWorks tab has been activated, and so now we'll see. The hands on on drive works like how you can use drive works. So let's go continue. So let's now go to hands on on drive works. So, firstly, as I've activated my drive works previously only, so here in my toolbar, all I have to click is click on drive works, and here you can see. There is a create data, create change database, add, add edit projects and run projects tab. This is the information tab or welcome tab you can see wherein you have to first create a database for your product. Now today we are going to make a spanner since we know that spanner comes in various sizes like this from M10 to M12 and so on. It re reaches to M30 and M32. So here. 
making a spanner out of a design table is a tedious task because in design table we will have to create multiple entries 10 12 then 12 14 and so on so on so on but here in drivers it is much more easier because all i have to do is create a form and we will see now how firstly we will create a database a fresh new database for spanner so i will now go on my desktop and i will create a, pro, a new folder now that this is purely optional if you want to create a new folder or not so i will create a folder spanner and in that folder i will create a spanner database so you can see microsoft access files now even if you don't have microsoft access file this is very important that if you don't have microsoft access file it is fine it doesn't matter you can still use driveworks even if in case of design table you need an access to excel but the advantage of driveworks is even if you don't have microsoft access you can still work on driveworks so now here you can see there is no model present since we have not created any model at present so firstly we'll create a simple model of spanner so let's create a simple spanner we are creating an open spanner a simple open spanner which we'll be using for driveworks model <laughs> The base size will be 10, and here we will create a 12. Then So we'll now simply first give dimensioning, simple some dimensioning that needs to be required for this Rivox project. So the it is so my basic spanner design is ready now and I will do some simple additions to this. will trim off these edges. I will make sure that trim construction geometry is there since I don't want any relations to go from here. <clears throat> Same I will do in here since this is an open spanner again I have discussed earlier. Again, trim off the unrequired edges. So overall my spanner design is now ready. I will now first some link some values to my properties tab. Why this is happening, I will obviously tell you in the later part. So I will just link this value and I will create a size M size 1, which is a smaller size and here M size 2 which will be a larger value. Here you can see in my properties tab, I will now create a number and global variable m size 1 and 
number two. I'm doing pure, this for the sake of naming. Here we will check whether the evaluation has been correctly. All right, so linking has been done and then I will exclude this part. A simple exclude. Now here I will create an exclude of 5 mm. If I want to give some fillets, I can obviously with feature part. Okay, over a spanner design has been created now. And then I want to name this spanner. Since this is a 10 to 12 spanner, I will obviously name it because whenever I'm using different sizes for this spanner, I want the name appear in here. So I will create a simple name that is the sizes of the spanner to be written. And here, sizing x that is property name as we created earlier number one ten on the either side of the naming property name two we will change the link to value that we had created earlier. Okay. X two. Again, here. Property tab. Link number two. On the either end. And I will cut them with the cut feature. Okay, so basic things have been done now. That is creation of spanner, creation of all the fillets and necessary features. Now I will save it. I will save it to my new folder, the spanner which we made earlier. And here, spanner. All right, if you want to make drawing, if you want to automate a drawing as well in DriveWorks, you can make automation as well, wherein I will select template or whatever template you have. I will place the views here accordingly. All right, and once this is done, now I have created a drawing of it and I will save it in the same folder as well. That is a spanner folder. Now here also my work is done. Now I will go to DriveWorks. <clears throat> as we said earlier that on home page, we have created a database. Now I will use here open model. Use open model. Spanner, the name has been reflected here. Here you have various tabs, again various tabs, and each tab represents something. Each tab represents something. So in captured model, this is the captured model that has been used. In dimension feature model, we'll be create using the dimensions to control. So firstly, I'll make sure that all dimensions are visible used on this model via annotation and show feature dimensions. And so firstly, I want every aspect of this panel to be controlled. So firstly, we'll check the length or we can check it. Obviously the M size. So we will select so the M sizes. That is M size one. Here M size two. The length needs to be controlled. So I will now here naming is necessary. The address to this dimension has been made already, but the naming is necessary. So I will create length. Then 
I want the OD for both the spanner ends to be regulated. So I will click on this. So I will say small OD. Name this as small OD. And for this as large OD. In case by chance, if I change them, by chance I click some wrong information. So I will click here and I can obviously update it as well in the later part. M sizes has been recorded. ODs has been recorded. Length has been recorded. Overall width has to be recorded. So I will click on here and width of the spanner that needs to be recorded. All right. So width has been recorded then extrude length the extruded length that needs to be recorded so even thickness of the spanner okay each and every thing now apart from that fillets fillets also we need to be recorded if you want to change the fillet sizes here if you don't want the fillet sizes to be changed you can obviously don't no need to record it overall all the necessary dimensions now has been recorded and done and dusted so the basic the dimension and features tab module has been completed and here I want to make sure that the drawing also needs to be done like the drawing needs to be also changed. So I will go in drawing and configuration and I will select what drawing. So here as we have already created a drawing. I will select this drawing and drivers will make sure that whenever a new part has been made, it will automatically create a new drawing for this new part that we create. All right. Here we have form in this form tab. The purpose of this form tab is to make sure that you put all the inputs. So what by this what it means that you will be creating a form and now let's say the one user has been created a form and other user comes and sit on this system and he wants to create a spanner of 15 by 16. So all you have to just do is create input 15 and 16 and done. All you have to just put this, this number and Drivebox will do its magic for you. So go into add. I will name this as M size one. Input and here in numeric text box, you have various text boxes in text box. If you put text box, you can you have the liberty to put any number and Drybox will create the specific number that you have entered. For now, I want to regulate this number. So I will first put for M size one numeric text box wherein the minimum value and maximum value needs to be input. So minimum value would be 10 and maximum value would be 30. That means we can create a spanner in between 10 to 30. And then M size 2. Again, if you put a drop down in drop down. Now we are not going to obviously create a drop down, but if you want to create a drop down, you can you will have to put all the numbers manually that needs to be created and that is a that is a very big task. So again, I will put a numeric text box. That is here and the maximum number will be 32. Form has been created. You can test the form. So here once you create a form all the use all or any user that comes all you have to do is. Just put it this input and the drive box will generate the model for it. For now, I will set these as a default value. All right, and we'll go to design. Now, here comes the main part that is creating a rule. For every drive box module that you create, for every drive box assembly that you have made or you have made changes, a rule has to be assigned. So here, as we did in the capture model, that is capture, dimensioning and everything, you will see it over here in the rules model. So firstly, we'll edit. Now here you can see the missing rules are nine. That means there has been no rules assigned for them. So accordingly, first we'll go to dimensions, edit rule. So M size one, as you can see, all the rules that we, all the capture dimension are present there and none has been assigned. So you can see a simple X here. So firstly, I will go to M size input M size one. Here you can see result is 10 because we have already created a default value 10. That's why. So let's go M size 2. So now 
you have noticed that in my input tab there were only two tab two pop-ups coming m size and m size 2 and for this length small od large od there is no possible outcome so i will be controlling these tabs with respect to m sizes that i put so now let's say that length i want length to be whatever the m size is so let's say that m size is 10 over here that we know that we are creating a size of 10 times size 10 spanner so i want it to be 100 so naturally i will be putting a equation logic just like the solid equation that we use so i will use math logic here into 10 so you can see the result is 100 now so no matter what spanner you are creating now let's say you are creating a spanner of 13 number so naturally the length of that spanner will be 130 and so now small od here the uh, length will be something different because this is 10 and this is 16 so i can use a plus logic here that means if the m size is 10 so i want that plus to be 6 or 8 or whatever it might be it is upon totally upon you how you want to control this code okay and again here the m size is 12 m2 size and the od is 20 so we'll create a rule here for m size plus 8 width needs to be controlled again now width is 10 so again you can say that m size can be controlled or we can use a math logic here as well like division and so for now we'll just use m size only that means a single input is able to create multiple rules. Thickness. Now thickness is something that is 5. That means whatever the M size would be, it would be the half of the thickness. So, I will use a divide logic over here. The math divide logic. Divide by 2. See, here it is now 5. Input is 5 fillets now fillets are again same sizes if you want to make sure that fillet doesn't exceed a certain amount you can use the board mass rule as well wherein you can minus two so whatever the m sizes would be it can be created now here i want an eight fillet or so whatever you can use here now here all the missing rules has been filled now if you unclick this you will see that all the missing rules have been filled we'll go to summary now there is only one time pending that is file as well now this is something a very interesting part over here because in files name we know that the name of this file is spanner but for every new configuration that we create like let's say we have created a spanner with dimensions 20 and 22 so i want that file name to be spanner 20 by 22 so here you have the liberty to do that as well all you have to do is go into spanner name and create a proper logic so here you have various logics and right now we are going to use name logic so to use name logic you can first start with is equal to and if you can use a normal keyboard as well you don't have to use every time our the logic keyboard logic board from here is equal to double quote yeah. all right Firstly, I want to use the M sizes that is so for and logic over here M size again I will put an and double quote into this X represents into and logic. sorry here on logic as you can see the screen has been turned red this is because the logic that i'm preparing right now it is not valid so to make sure now see it has become valid again that means whenever the logic is invalid it will turn the screen red see as you can see over here so whatever size you're doing you just have to make sure that you're putting the logic correctly
See, now overall my result is 10 into 12 mm spanner. So even this has been done now. I will go to summary tab. Here you can see all the missing tabs have now gone. And now all I have to do is create run. So <coughs> supposingly, let's say I want to create a spanner by 15 by 16 dimension. I will just put the inputs and create. See, it has created a spanner for me by 15 by 16 sizes. And now whatever number I put in here, it will keep on making the spanner and it will save that spanner for me as well. So in desktop, if you go now here in uh, spanner toolbox, here you can see it has saved the file for me. It has created a new file for me as well. So original file is intact and the new file is also intact and such. And in such a way, you can create endless numbers of configuration within a few seconds of input. So now let's say 20 by 22 spanner is what I'm expecting. See, all you have to do is put the input and the numbering has also been reflected. And this is how DriveWorks is very efficient for single part modeling. No matter what part you're using. Now let's say I've created a different types of parts as well in my desktop. So let's say I have to use this this database that I have created earlier. So I want to modify this rim that we have made. That is something that is not visible because the rim project is not open. But still now let's say that OD for the rim needs to be changed 400 and width that ID for my rim is something 15. I've created something here. Select the configuration from this configuration drop box. Create. So this rim, I have multiple configurations over here. And for whatever configuration that I select, the rim can be created. Now here you can see this is an 18 spoke rim. But let's say you want to create a rim that is smaller in size, that has a less number of spokes. So again, DriveWorks will help you in here. Rim, just run it. Now let's say I'm creating a rim that is 200 mm size and width this much and spokes needs to be just 15. All right, and multi spoke or maybe five slot or various configuration that I've created. See now here you can see the sizes that we used. It is exactly 150 as I inputted earlier. It is exactly 15 spokes as we have requested the drive box to do and in here for every rim type that i've created it has created it so this is how drive box can help you in your daily operations if you are into various industry if you are in the industry where you are using repetitive parts you can use drive box